And once you get home, you'll no doubt be looking forward to Thanksgiving dinner. This morning, our Matt McCutcheon continues our look at how to make the perfect meal. And today, it's all about the turkey. Good morning. Hard to believe we're one week out. And you may be getting the frozen turkey right here, but it takes a lot to go from this to what you see right here. Our retro dietitian, Mary Snell, joins us this morning. We're talking about a lot of different ways to get that preparation for a moist, juicy turkey. What yes. do we begin with? We got a couple options. We actually can do a brining kit, and these are available to you. You can do a wet brine or a sort of a dry brine using some kosher salt mat. And then another technique that a lot of people use are the oven bags. Stick your turkey in that. Uh, put it in the oven and the bag actually again seals all those juices in. And the brine adds salt to it. Why is that important? Well, salt is one of those kind of minerals that just wherever salt is, um, moisture kind of follows it. And so it, it basically changes the texture of the of the meat and allows it to be more tender. And that's of course key. And the temperature yes. is key as well. Temperature. No matter what technique you use, temperature is key. You don't want to overcook your turkey, so you want to use a, a, a meat thermometer. And the other one that I think a lot of people overlook is resting the turkey after we pull it out of the oven. And the the technique here is really to create just a little bit of a foil tent mm -hmm. um, and let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Why is it so important to well, rest and not just cut into it right away? You know, and what happens when you cut into it right away, a lot of those juices then spill out onto the platter. What we want to do when we rest the meat is make sure those juices get soaked back into the, uh, into the turkey tissue mm -hmm. and then after about 20 minutes it'll be easier to carve and you're going to have a nice flavorful, juicy, tender turkey. Awesome. And temperature, what temperature do we want? You want it to reach 165 degrees in the thickest part of the thigh. Thickest part of the thigh. Alright, Mary, thanks so much for those tips. That's ways of preparing the turkey, but what about the best ways to thaw it in the sink and the refrigerator? We're going to take a look at that in our next hour of Sunrise. Back to you. All right, looking forward to it. So my mom usually makes the turkey, okay. but we have so many people that are, that are coming. I have to make one too, so I'm paying yeah, close you were like attention. listening intently. <laughs> Most important thing, you let it what? Rest. Rest 20 and minutes. what's the temperature in the thigh? I just forgot that. Three. 165. Uh, 165? Oh, God, I would have burnt my bird out. Burnt. <laughs> well, you didn't know there was going to be a pop quiz after I Matt's didn't, piece. I didn't, but, uh, I didn't. Yeah. Like that dog.